So we've seen how virtual reality could shape the future for gaming, but this is something different. It's called the HoloLens, and it's Microsoft's augmented reality viewer. So virtual reality means you're actually cut off from reality and replacing your surroundings with a virtual space. Whereas augmented reality is more like virtual elements on top of your real world. The 3DS and PS Vita actually had AR cards that you could place down on a table, and the handheld would read these shapes and figure out the perspective to display animations right there in your room. Microsoft's HoloLens is the same sort of tech, but takes us even further. It's running Windows Holographic, which is a simplified version of Windows 10 and everything is inside this single headpiece. It's not controlling a computer in the same room, there's no tracking boxes, no wires, just the headset. The front display is covered in cameras that scan your environment. When you put it on, you can see everything around you as usual, and it projects holograms directly into your eyes, adding digital overlays to the physical world. Imagine putting a TV screen anywhere you like, or two or three. Imagine playing games where robots come out of the walls of your house. But this isn't about gaming, it's about work, productivity and utility. And that's why the whole lens is so exciting. There's a couple of physical buttons for volume and brightness, but everything else is controlled with just a few gestures. Opening your hand will bring up the app list. You have a crosshair in the center of your vision, so you just look at what you want to open and then pinch your fingers together to select it. Even though this is just a developer unit, the gestures work really well, and it's easy to resize windows and surf the web. Plus, if you get sick of holding your arm in the air, there is a little Bluetooth remote which makes selecting items a bit easier. Basically, there's not too much to this at the moment. Microsoft did put a lot of work into the whole lens, and it's significantly more polished for an early experience than VR was. Make no mistake, this is the developer edition, and just a preview of what's to come. HoloLens dev kits aren't available in New Zealand and certainly aren't cheap. We brought this one in as a one-off for our education team, and we're lucky enough to spend a few days with it. You can open web pages, place holograms in your room, use the office suite, and make hands-free Skype calls. But just imagine where this is going. Having someone help you by drawing over what you see in front of you. Being able to provide emergency medical assistance. Manipulating 3D models in real space. Collaborating with your colleagues on the latest projects without needing to be on site. That's the promise of holographic technology. And Microsoft have proven just how close they are to making this a reality. The AR tracking is really good. Once you place something, it stays there. And I never found that moving my head or walking around disrupted that at all. Being able to have a whole virtual desk with multiple monitors and weather widgets. Or replacing your TV with a virtual screen that you can place on any wall and scale to any size. This is stuff that works and works really well. Clearly, it's still early days. But everyone we demoed this to loved it. The hologram resolution is impressive. The built-in spatial sound is excellent. The field of view that the holograms appear in is narrow. The headset is heavy and the battery life comes up a little short. But manipulating digital objects in a physical space just feels science fiction. HoloLens showed me an augmented future I didn't even know I wanted. But now you can really see just how cool this is going to be. That's a quick look at the Microsoft HoloLens Development Edition. I'm Eli from PB Tech, and I'll see you in the next one.